I thought I'd make a video of the setup of my Vanderspec before I switch out. Um, this is my Vanderspec A6 size that I traded with a lady in America for my um, standard size that I hadn't bonded with and I wanted an A6 size because I was getting an A6 touch me for Christmas which I'll grab off my shelf. Well it's not A6 it's senior but there you go. It's lovely um, because A6 size is more logical for me and I've explained about that in a video before so I traded um, this with her and it's actually the same outside leather as my A5 which might seem a bit funny here is my A5 so as you can see it's like mini me except this one's got um, purple inside, uh, it's the Viola 26 I think? No, that's pink. Um, anyway, it's it's the it's the non Nappa Viola inside, um, whereas this one has Nappa turquoise inside, so that's like um, the turquoise colour. Um, it's softer. Um, I wouldn't have chosen the um, Nappa myself because I feel like it's too delicate for withstanding what um, you know you throw at it when you fill it full of like cards and stuff but obviously the Vander Specs have done experiments on it and they have determined that it is tough enough because um, they don't use the um, it's difficult for me to do this because the tripod legs get in the way they don't use this leather on the outside of binders but they do use the Nappa leather on the outside of binders so they must have determined that this Nappa leather is actually really tough so um, I'm, I'm just a bit overly paranoid um, <laughs> I think that it sort of um, probably would retain the shape of the cards that sit inside the pockets and it's it's more liable to sort of when it gets bent to stay bent or to to sort of retain some of the sort of abuse it gets but if the um if the van der Speck company have done all the experiments on it then i guess that their experiments have proven that it is fine for its use so i'm just paranoid anyway so I'm going to be switching out from this one just because I'm a bit bored of rings. Not because I don't love the binder, I really do love it, um, but I just want something different and I'm going to be using one of my traveller's notebooks again because um, I've been in inspired by um, Romani and some other people who switch between ring binders and traveller's notebooks when they want to. Just when they feel like it, when they get bored, when they want something different just when they want to and I know a lot of people out there really want to find their one true planner their planner piece their I think they now call it unicorn their unicorn um, stick in one planner for the rest of their life and that's that's absolutely fine that's a very um, respectable desire but I know that I get bored when I had a rotation of personal size filofaxes that I could switch between I would switch between them sort of every three weeks because that's how long my <laughs> attention span lasted that's how long it took me before the novelty wore off and I got bored so I think it's it's absolutely fine if I want to that's my cat jumping up on the bed Chloe as you can see I'm watching one of Romilly's videos um Chloe hello pretty girl um she's wondering why I'm on her bit of the bed um so it's absolutely fine if you want to switch between different formats as long as you are able to switch between them without it disrupting your system and what happens with me is that if I um, get a planner fail I will stop using a planner for a few weeks and then my, my life will sort of melt because I'm not planning so as long as I develop a system where I can switch between the two fluidly and easily and it won't disrupt my life 
then that is absolutely fine. And the way I'm going to do that, I think, is that I'm going to have a year's monthly planner, i.e. just the month spreads, that will be A6 size, so it will fit in here. And on the cover, it will have um, ring, uh, ring holes, so I can fit it in here when I want to. Or, possibly I won't have any holes on the cover, I might just slip it behind here. Um, but it can also fit under the elastic of my Midori Traveller's Notebook. So that is going to be the one element that goes from my Traveller's Notebooks to my binders and vice versa. Even if I'm using my A6, uh, my A5 Van der Speck or any of my other binders, I mean even if I go back to a personal size Filofax, I, it can fit in there because it is small enough. Um, so that is my plan. So I'll give you a quick show through of my setup before I switch over. <clears throat> so obviously this is the inside, you've just seen this. Um, I have a few cards, I have my bus pass, my debit card and my um, library card because I am an associate member of my local university library so I can do research there. I've got important receipts like um, this receipt I got for a book I've just borrowed um, the associate membership receipt which actually I can get rid of now I've actually got my card and some other receipts back there and I love this secretarial pocket as I said I traded this planner but the girl who'd bought it originally she had the secretarial pocket as a custom request and that is perfect because I love secretarial pockets they are so much easier for me to be able to take things out of and put things in than a, a normal stitch pocket at the top where it's it's fixed here and it's quite difficult. Um, I've got this postcard on the on the front which is my favourite postcard and it's like a dashboard and I just stick little notes on it when I'm at work because I can't be writing in my planner at work. Um, my mum bought me postcards. I asked for postcards for Christmas because postcards are the perfect size um, dividers in an A6 planner. So she got me po postcards and I love them. So this is just my sort of stuff that makes me happy section. But I haven't got much in it. I've just got this little um, thing from Natalie D. I changed it a bit but I, it says all I want to do is everything I want to be able to sleep as in as long as I want and to wear pajamas all day is that so wrong and there's another one that she made which is um, I'm up and dressed what more do you want but I can't find it I cannot find it anywhere on the internet um, so there's another postcard and here is my monthly spread this is January and I've got them spliced so I've got the the weeks spliced in between the months um, I'm, I've got a feeling this is going to have to go into two videos because I can only film for 15 minutes on my camera. I um, I stuck a piece of paper in here so I could have it. My my current sort of projects, my current focuses, um, while I've got my weekly spread open um, like that. But I've not really been using it. Um, I started off using a trial of DIY fish. Um, but I don't like writing on flipped out pages. I don't mind taking them out, writing on them on the hard surface and then putting them back in and then using them for reference. But I don't like writing on flipped out surfaces because you're going to have to put something hard underneath it and I don't like, I don't like fussing about with things like that. I made my own setups trying to find which perfect setup for me is and I kind of haven't settled on anything particular yet. Um, so as I said I spliced them in between the months so here's February and then um, I've been using dodo pad so I'll just have my weekly to do's and then I'm trying to work out where to fit everything in on the dodo pad this is the dodo pad mini it comes as a bound um, spiral bound um, little diary but I, I just cut it down the spirals and punched it and put it in here it's a bit smaller than the A6 size but it's fine and I can write small enough to fit in the boxes and I write over several boxes if I need to and it's absolutely fine. This is my dashboard, it's a two pieces of almost A6 size um, acetate, washi tape to make it pretty and then um, sellotape to make a hinge and I can use it for lots of things, I did have it as my main dashboard but now I can put, I'm going to be using post-it notes for my weekly um, 
no, sorry, for my daily things. And then when I've finished, I can get rid of them because I don't need to keep stuff like that. Um, I've got a plan for that. I'll do another video on that another time. Um, I did have like my weekly charts, my weekly to dos, and my. Uh, I can't remember but I did have it for lots of different things so that when I have my weekly spreads open it would sit because I've spliced the hole uh, not spliced I've, I've slipped between the holes and the edge of the paper the edge of the thing so I could have it like this so I could have you could see it there you could see it um, there 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 you could have that folded over and just have that available to see you could flip it over so that you can see this week and and I, I really like that so that's what I did um, with my weeklies and then flipping forward my next section is organization um, which is just lists and stuff I was going to make it my proper organization section but I haven't put all the, the lists in that I would normally have and um, some of them are still in my A5 and I've just got things like shopping list budget that sort of thing keeping track of my spending um, and then paper and then this is my note section so create your own story I like that as the divider for my note section and I've just got random bits of paper and um, I just write stuff on the bus so I've, I've got lots of A4 paper chopped into bits and I just flip to a, a you know a, a random blank page and start writing so it's all kind of not organized in here but it's just a temporary section like I take things out and fry all them in my A5 or transfer them or whatever um, and then I've got my reference section which I can't show you because it's got um, contacts in and then I've got a pretty divider at the back and then a zip section that came with the binder which um, was an added extra which the lady I bought uh, I swapped it with um, um, did as a custom and it's got like my SD card and stuff in it and then um, this is well there's my in case of emergency card and there is um, like a, a little notebook that I can use on my desk at work and then transfer the individual pages into this when I get on the bus or get home and then some post-it notes and I've got two Kalitos in here one on a Leuch term um, pen loop and one in the actual pen loop and I've managed to fit this into one video so I'm quite impressed so yeah that is my binder and I will be switching into my traveller's notebook hopefully today so I will do a video on that when I've set it up and then in a few months time you might see me using this one again you might see me using my touch me you might hopefully see me using a new touch me because they're going to be bringing out um, a couple more colours so I'm hoping to get um, if they make the Janet leather one I'm hoping to get that one um, and you might even see me using my A5 as a planner because now I have justified it to myself that I am actually allowed to switch between different sizes, different planners as long as I don't get um, sort of dis disrupted by it and as long as I keep that monthly section as my consistent forward planner and tracker and past events um, sort of um, record so that uh, that's my one consistent thing and then the rest of it is all fluid so that's um, my plan thank you for watching I think this might be my shortest video of a setup well it's not much of a setup but there you go it works for me thank you for watching bye